Hi there, Terhi here again with my March hip kits and I'm especially focusing on March color, color kit because we had amazing uh, stamp from Pink Fresh Studio and some gorgeous watercolors from Shimmers Paints. So I'm doing my layout background with these. I added a little layer of clear gesso on a white cardstock because I didn't want to be uh, too wrinkled uh, later. So then I'm uh, painting with watercolor my stamp, just like adding ink, but now only watercolor. Uh, I didn't use it too wet because, as you see, the pattern isn't that that strict, so I'm using quite dry watercolors. Uh, I'm doing it first with this green one, and then I'm letting it dry completely, and then adding the uh, yellow one. Uh, I'm doing it like this because <laughs> otherwise it would be one mess, and the green and the yellow would be mixed up. So right now my background is dry and I'm adding quite dry watercolor again and then stamping to the background. Uh, this yellow le left quite quite much uh, better uh, pattern on the background, but um, I just love the way you can see the triangles and stuff from the stamp here and there and and you get a lot of color to your background this way. Of course, you can add uh, some, some regular ink with the stamp as well to get um, the pattern even uh, more visible. But um, I wanted to play with these gorgeous Hipkit Club exclusive papers, which are designed by Kim Watson and also with this um, also highly colored um, papers and embellishment from Paisy Gray. So that's why I didn't want to add too much on the background. Uh, I made some scraps from the patterned papers we had in the main kit and I'm adding some uh, I don't know is it that doily or something but it was in the basic gray die cuts um, pack so I added them between the layers and now I'm just adding these these colorful papers on top of the, another and some of them are squares, some of them are crea uh, triangles, and some something else. I just wanted to make a lot of layers and um, give much attention to this colorful paper. So I glued it on the background, and now I'm adding even more uh, paper pieces and die cuts from Paisy Gray. Um, these are matching well together because both are so, so colorful um, and <laughs> it's really good therapy to scrapbook like this with lots of color because I, I usually love um, uh, very light colors and like very smooth. I, I might do a layout with a pink team or turquoise team or something like that and this layout has them all. <laughs> it has like every simple single color you might might know so it it's quite nice to make something different. Now uh, I added uh, these leaves from Basic Gray Ephemera pack uh, I wanted this uh, whole piece to look like a big flower, so so I added them that way. Uh, and to make more dimension and even more color, uh, I decided to add these yellow buttons here and there. Uh, as you see, I add five of them because I don't want to use two or four or something that I always want to have. Is it perilous number? Uh, even out something well you get it so I wanted to add something to these wooden pieces from L studio and 
as I really like the watercolors from the color kit, I'm coloring these wooden things with the col um, watercolor. Um, I don't use any gesso first, so I'm again using quite dry brush uh, to color these um, because I want to, the color to be as bright as possible. And now I'm adding them to the layout. Uh, that was almost it. Um, for the last um, phase, I added some some basic gray uh, enamel dots because they are so nice, and you can always add enamel dots or diamonds to your layout. I think so. These are nice. These are same colors, and and it, it gives something more to this layout. And for the last thing, this I just said this was the last thing, but it wasn't. Anyway, uh, I'm adding even more something. I'm adding uh, red splashes with uh, mist. Uh, I chose red because I have quite much pink here, and I want it to be even more pink. Because the photograph is of me and my daughters, and they love pink, so that's why I chose the pink. Anyway, that was it. That was easy, nice, and I hope you are inspired somehow. Um, as you see, it has a lot of colors this time. <laughs> so, thank you for watching and see you again next week. Thank you. Bye.